Hello and welcome to this episode of the Let's Play Fallout 4 series. This is Storm Crow and let's get started. Alright. So it was actually 24 minutes was, was the last one. But we did get a lot done. Uh, we can actually just move on to questing now. Uh, let's take a look. On time coming. Okay. We, c we can do more of those. Disappearing Act. Uh, let's... Let's do that one. It's pretty swift. It clears up the detective files. So I believe for the next couple of levels we'll be raising agility. We need to get that into ninja range and then it'll be like ninja is something important. I know at 31 we're maxing out I think hacker. Sorry, drop my pen. Alright, uh, let's head over here to the bar. I don't, okay, okay, I've done something wrong. It's actually an easy place to get to. There we go. I should be able to persuade him to give me the keys to his house. I am in middle of story. So then, I am crossing river, right? Wearing nothing but a smile. When out comes the most dangerous of all sea monsters. A mire lurk! A mire lurk? Come on. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really dead. Jim! Oh, I forgot you were there, Yakfin. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it <laughs> myself. Bye. See this bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no. I kid. I kid. <laughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to order. Earl Sterling used to work here. Right? Yeah, help defend oh, Tim Pine's bluff. Gone just like that. Such a good bartender. As soon as we're done with this, we'll head out there. Oh. <laughs> Terrible with women, mind you. Bull in China shop with them. You with Valentine's Detective Agency? I forgot to drop off Earl's key when I hired you people. Here, I hope you find out what happened. Security does nothing but yell at me for asking about. Now, let me pour you a drink. Come on. Not looking to buy right now. Come back later, then. You know, I need to ask him about his bar. Vadim. Good to see returning customers. <laughs> Most die. Uh, you let me know if you need a drink. So, this your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire Commonwealth. We call it Bobrov's Best. Had to start renting out rooms just so customers uh, had a place to safely pass out after drinking it. <laughs> Not right now. You sure? Ah, oh, well. All right, let's head to Tim Pines Bluff. Then we'll come back here and, and do the next step. I need to turn that into a, a supply line to Sanctuary. Okay, they're, they're, they got rockets. Alright, I'm not prepared for this. Uh, yeah, that's fine.
Holy shit. They were they were prepared to take this place out. I was not prepared to defend it. Okay, that's that's a settler. I got knocked the fuck out. Is this place workshopable? I think that's the problem. I can't do anything to help them. Why did I not get the fragmentation grenade? Let me hold down V. It is workshopable. You, my friend, are going for a walk. To Sanctuary Hills. Let's, uh... Let's do something about the no defense. We can use a turret. Up on this hook. They were coming from that direction. Is there enough to build a radio beacon and empower it? There's the workshop. I guess we're already connected. Alright. They have what, two beds? So they need a prefab maybe right here. That's good enough. All right, we can put beds on this. That one's completely in, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I think we are good on beds. Uh, let's make some more water. That's going to be an issue. Huh? Guess my good karma's paying off.
can get it over here on the food. Over here is a good place to put a water pump. That's power. I'm gonna build a few of these. Just wanna get it over ten. Food set at five. Got it. Got a few turrets down. So defense of 10, food of 5, beds 11. We got four settlers. Three doing work, one's on the supply run, supply line, I believe. That's I believe that's the way it works. We got enough beds to handle more. And we got enough. Hurts to deal with it. Okay, and that's how I'm going to basically do it. You know, I'm going to hit these places up as I need to. And then when I when I re, when I hit them up, then I'll I'll do the supply stuff with them. What was I here? Oh yeah, I need to repair my armor. I took a beating. Try not to sever any All right, well, the legs got fucked up. Wow. Arms are okay, they're about half. But, you know, they're not really all that important. The legs are super important. Now, I'm noticing my videos have been going, instead of 10 to 20 minutes where I originally... This guy just in... Oh, it's the traitor. 10 to 20 minutes, which is what I originally planned for these to do. They've been going tw uh, 15 to 30 minutes. And... Uh, Hell, most of them are over 20 minutes at this point. For the past 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. For the past close to 10. Uh, if, we, if we count 10 out of the last 11 or, or 12 were uh, over 20 minutes with 2 at 30 minutes or higher. That's a lot. And we had that one hour long video. That, I mean, that, that's a lot of video for you guys to have to watch. Now, I'm not saying that you guys don't enjoy that. But I'm new. So I honestly do not know what you would pref what this viewership is going to prefer. What do you prefer? Uh, I'll start in here. Okay, I know where the clues are. It's under it's underneath the couch or couch area. You know? Mega surgery center. The seat from the mega surgery. So, you know, I don't, I don't, if, if you guys really liked hour long videos, I would make all these an hour long. You know, I'm not looking for, fa you know, five minute videos and making a shit ton of those for uh, fast ad revenue or something like that. I, I'm making content that I want people to watch. And if you're not watching it, then there's, there's no reason for me to be doing what I'm doing. This better be an emergency. You know, I mean, I've already beat this game. Let me see. This is Dr. Crocker's deplorable handwriting, all right. Looks like Earl Sterling was one of his patients. The procedure noted here is mundane. Low-risk cosmetic work. Dr. Crocker never performed it, however. Said Earl vanished before he paid. Now, I must insist we talk about your medical needs. But, you know, I, I do this because I want to entertain and I, I want to share. So... Hopefully you guys like what I'm doing. Where is Doc Crocker? Last time I saw him, he had to get something out of the surgery cellar. Probably just had to wash some needles or move some storage around. Now, let's get back to talking about your medical needs. I need to get into the cellar, Doctor. What does this look like? A public outhouse? You know what? Don't answer. Why on earth would I let you down there? 
I'm investigating a missing person, Doctor. And I think the trail leads to your basement. A missing person? You're talking about Earl, aren't you? You can't honestly think... You know what? Fine. If it'll put the matter to rest. Here, go see for yourself. But if I find one instrument out of place, you'll be getting the bill. Anyways. Just saying that I enjoy what I do. And I'm glad that oh, I have any Earl. viewers at all. So, there we go. I'll leave it at that. What You've the hell? Really been a handful, oh, God. What, what the hell did he do to Earl? Our little mistake is Looks like going it'll be a closed casket correct. funeral. Oh, naughty, naughty. You're not supposed to be down here, but that's okay. I can fix that. I can fix anything. What did you do to Earl Sterling, Doctor? What did I do? I didn't do anything. It was, uh, it was Earl. It was Earl who didn't want to be happy. Good patients get a nice new face. Bad patients bleed all over the floor because they want to screw up their surgeon's <laughs> life. You made a mistake, but you can still do the right thing, Doctor. Just think this through. Drop the weapon, Doc. Haven't enough people suffered today? You're, you're right. There's one thing I can do. Only one thing is going to make this all better. What the fuck just happened? What's going on here? Is that Dr. Crocker? Yeah. Doc. I think you owe me an explanation. What happened here? Did you know what Doc Crocker was doing down here? That's... Earl Sterling's body, isn't it? Somewhere in the back of my mind, I knew he had gone through with the surgery. So, Earl didn't just vanish. The procedure went badly, and Dr. Crocker was just trying to cover it up. You didn't know. It's not your fault. Of course it's not my fault. That moron and his damn appearance over practice mentality. Now two lives have been lost. It's disgraceful. I better report all this to security. Get out of here. It's going to take a long time to clean this place of biohazards. So, the doctor did it, huh? Feels like there's a cliche in there somewhere. All right, what's the name of this quest? That's what I'm gonna name this episode after we turn it in. Long time coming. It's easy quest. You saw exactly how I did it. Long time coming. I gotta write it down. My memory is not what it should be. Don't know why, but it is. That way. If I don't write it down, I will forget it. We can't blame ourselves. That man decided to die. Hope you don't mind. You guys mind? Don't. Hope you guys don't mind this red HUD over top of everything. Hey, see that big blimp? It's, you know, I I can tell ghouls which ones are alive in, in you know, playing dead on the ground. Very, I mean, all, instantly. This HUD is like the greatest thing. For me, at least. So, you two find out where Earl Sterling ran off to? Why was I looking for Earl Sterling again? Well, to help the folks down at the dugout end get some closure about their friend, for one. That, plus a pile of caps when it's all said and done. Earl never went anywhere. Doc Crocker killed him during a botched surgery. Crocker killed Earl? Gone as long as he was, I figured maybe Raiders or the Institute, but Crocker? Where's the doc now? Rotting in a cell, I hope. Crocker killed himself. He couldn't take the guilt. Goodness. I'm sorry you two had to go through that. Here, take this. Sounds like you earned it. I'll send word along. Let everyone down at the dugout in know what happened. Shame it couldn't be better news. Thanks again for closing this one out. The disappearing act is actually what we were... Long time coming. I don't know what the... The... Dis... Uh, here, mm. 
act. So what the hell is long time coming? Whoops. Tab. Long time coming. Oh, okay. Alright, let's head out. I don't think there's anything else we need to do down here. Let me heal up real quick with... Something that's cooked. Big, big bullet fire will get me close. Oops, took a blood pack. That's 50% health. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm going to do a quick sweep just on the map of uh, a couple of the places like Grey Garden and just see. You know, make sure their happiness levels are doing good. Alright, so... Arbonathy Farms, 3 people 50%. Okay. 9 people 71%, they're doing great. Overland Stationed, 9 people 45%, they're doing awesome. Well, they're not not—they're not very happy. Uh, you know what, I'm going to spend the uh, next episode going around to each one of those and checking them out. Maybe doing some improvements. Uh, when was my last improvement? episode uh, that was episode 58 and we're at 70 so that was 12 episodes ago it's okay to do another one I might not do that so you know check it out you know at least the title you can it'll be improving settlements too whenever I do it uh, but anyways I want to thank you all for watching this has been the let's play series for Fallout 4 and this is Stormcrow signing off